How's it going guys? Noah here and welcome back to another video. So this is now the second 2008 Topps Baseball Series 1 Blaster Box I have here. If you did not catch the last time we opened one of these, which, why haven't you? We pulled a autographed Mark Ellis. So I looked it up and it's going for about uh, $10 right now, so... Not a bad pull at all. Hoping to get something else out of this blaster box. Let's get right into it. I'm hoping. The last one did us pretty good. We had that Stephen Pierce rookie card. And we had, like I said, that Mark Ellis autograph. And so hopefully we can get something nice out of here. I have to adjust my camera in one second. Once I get this off. Toss that there. Let me... Readjust right there. There we go. So hopefully we can get that Joey Votto rookie card or that Dustin Pedroia rookie card. That'd be really nice there. We got one, two, three, four, five in the bonus pack. So we'll start with this pack right here. So how are you guys been? Hoping you guys been enjoying the videos. I've been having a lot of fun making them. It's really sparked on oh, this pack is not doing good for me there we go it's really sparked my um my how do i say this my i don't know it's made me really want to open packs i guess I'm, I'm trying to think of the right word but i can't really think of one but i've just really been excited to make videos we have a classic combo card right there we'll put that over here um, but yeah, I've had a lot of fun making these videos. Ooh, Adam Ainwright. I'm going to put that over there. It's just a personal favorite. Uh, Phil Hughes, Julian Tavares, and Aaron. Uh, we're we'll calling him Aaron C because we know YouTube can be weird sometimes. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. Um, in years past, I've tried coming on YouTube and it was just gaming videos mostly, but it just got to the point where it felt like it was a chore and I really wasn't having fun um, playing games or making content anymore. But with this, if anything, it's just, as of right now, it's making it a lot more fun for me to open these packs. I get to show off my love for collecting and we've gotten some pretty good pulls so far. So it's very nice. We got a Calvum Escobar, a Jose Reyes, a Ryan Church checklist. Brad Wilkinson, Jason Veritek, and a Trevor Hoffman. So far, we really haven't gotten anything besides the preference uh, Adam Wainwright in that combo insert. So maybe this one won't be as good as the last one. Maybe we got all the good stuff in the um, last video. And as I say that, we got a Rich Thompson rookie card. We got Chuck James, Jason Michaels. Jerry Owens, Ramon Hernandez, Ramon Hernandez, sorry, Lyle Overbay. We got a Joe Maurer, a Willie Randolph, CeCe Sabathia, and a Scott Rowland. So we only have two packs and the bonus pack, and all we have really is this rookie Rich Thompson card. So we need to change our luck. Hopefully the baseball gods are with us. If we can get... That one Joey Votto, that will make up for the lack of pull so far. Oh, we got a rookie right here. Jonathan Albahenos. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll chalk that as uh, close enough. Uh, Mike Napoli, he looks weird. You know, without that giant beard as he had when he was with the Red Sox. Kind of kind of odd. We got a Kevin Co Cosmo. Oh, God. They're just trying to make me... Struggle today. Look at that. We're gonna call him Mark G because I cannot pronounce that. We got a 50th anniversary Manny Ramirez tops all star rookie outfield. That is not too bad. And we got an own the game Miguel Cabrera from when he was with the Marlins. That's not too bad. Back to back inserts right there. We also got a Yovan Gar Gal Galliardo, Jim Leyland, and a rookie Radmus Liz. So there we go. That one had a little something in it. A little something to uh, get it bumping again. But we have this in the bonus pack left. And this pack also kind of blew up on me. So 
our last, well, technically our second to last chance, but we'll just say our last chance to try to get that Joey Votto rookie card. We'll go nice and slow. Justin Morneau. Chris Sampson. We got a Willie Harris. A Mark Bueller. A Derek Barton rookie card. We got Chad Binks, Binksley. Binksley. Students work. Marco Studar, Zach Ranky, Joe Koshaki, maybe, rookie card, and a Richie Sexton. Here we go. This is our last chance at the Joey Votto or an autograph card or something. Give me something. Tops 2008 Series 1. Okay, here we go. We got postseason highlights. The Red Sox winning the World Series. Rookie Sam Flood. Ian Snell. We got the Rookie Award. James Loney. And uh, from the Indians, Ryan Garko. So I'm going to make a cut here. I will pick up the few inserts and stuff that we got and uh, we'll end the video all righty so i called this a rookie award card but it's actually an all-star award card so we got the james loney the sam flute rookie card the joe rookie card the Derek barton rookie card the liz rookie card the Jonathan rookie card. Yes, I am going to skip those long names so I don't make a fool out of myself twice. We got the rookie Rich Thompson card. We also had the postseason highlights of the Boston Red Sox winning the World Series. The classic combo twins card with Maurer, Santana, and Morneau. We had that really nice 50th anniversary Manny Ramirez all-star rookie outfield card. And the best thing we got today is the Own the Game Miguel Cabrera insert from his time with the Marlins. So not nearly as good as the last one. The quality of rookies weren't that great. And we didn't get a hit. We didn't get an autograph or a relic or anything. So if you watched the first one, came here hoping for a gold twice, we did not come nowhere close. I'd give this like maybe a bronze and that's pushing it really. I'd... I'd say out of 10, this was about like a 4 box. The other one was probably like an 8. Or no, I'd say a 7. It wasn't a high tier autograph. Whatever, I'm rambling now. But if you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below of what else you guys would like to see me open. I do have more WWE cards coming up soon. I was asked to uh, open up more. So I will do that for you guys. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We are getting closer to 25 subs. I would... Actually, by the time of this recording, we could be over it. I'm not sure. This video is coming up Monday, and I'm recording it on a Thursday. So hopefully we can hit that soon. That'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'll leave the link to my Twitter in the description box down below. But uh, yeah, before I keep rambling on like an idiot, that's uh, about it. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.